four mistakes to avoid in selling your home. You want to stay on and watch. If you enjoy the video content, you want to hit subscribe and the bell notification so you don't miss future video. Thanks for your support, comment, like, and subscription so that we could get more of these great contents out to the community. Mistake number one, selling your home as is without fixing major repairs. If you are planning to sell your home in its as is condition, First of all, let me make note, it does not prevent the buyer from actually asking if there are major repairs or things like that uh, uncovered during the inspection, okay? But when you are, if you decide you're gonna sell the home in its as-is condition, it is highly recommended that you take the time to make major repairs and get the repairs done. Because if you're selling the home as is and you expect a great price on it, but there are some broken items and things that need to be repaired that you may already be aware of and you're not fixing it, chances are you're not going to attract the right type of buyers. They're probably going to come in lower and they're going to be negotiating for all these things that need to be done anyway. So make sure that you get as many of the major repair items done before you put it on the market. And the more important part is, and this is like an ethical recommendation, make sure that you don't hide anything. If you're aware of anything about the house, um, that's why full disclosure is so important. I always share this with my seller clients. You want to make sure that you fully disclose to the best of your knowledge. If there was a leak in the house two years ago, you want to disclose that and that it was repaired, if there was a, I don't know, some kind of roof leak, you want to disclose that. What the buyers want to know is that if there was an issue, tell me now. Don't let me find out, get the keys to the house, we closed transaction, and you, you did not tell me about the history of the house during the time that you had ownership. That can become an issue later. So fully disclose, don't hide anything. Take care of the major repair items. Mistake number two. Don't delay putting your home on the market. As I mentioned a couple of videos ago, spring is the hottest season to get your home on the market in the real estate industry, countrywide, okay? I'm talking all over the US. So if you have, if you're very close to getting your house to be ready to put on the market, you should do it. You should get it on the market as soon as possible. Mistake number three, be really conscientious in how you price your home. Overpricing your home has already been proven that what happens is, you know, unless you're the only home that is on the market currently and everybody wants your house, it has some unique features and so on and so forth. Overpricing your home typically ends up hurting the property because it ends up sitting longer on the market because buyers are savvy as I have mentioned this over and over, they're shopping and they're online cruising and they see, well, this house is uh, overpriced for the size of it, for you know what's comparables on the market. And there, by the way, there are two or three other homes on the market. Well, when you overprice it, chances are the home's gonna sit on the market longer and chances are you're gonna have to adjust the price downwards. So now you've lost traction because the hottest time for a home to be on the market is typically the first two weeks. Uh, once it hits the market, that's where most of the eyeballs are gonna hit the home. Mistake number four, make sure that the home is easily accessible. What I mean by that is, you know, I love pets, I love dogs, okay? But let's say if you have a dog or two dogs or three dogs, just make sure that you're able to have them not be a distraction when people come through the house. You also want to consider that some people may be aller allergic to pets, you know, whether it's cats or dogs or what have you. And sometimes when you walk into a home and there are dogs or cats uh, running around or barking, it deters the potential buyers. So you want to make sure that you, either you can remove the pets or you can have them crated in the garage. And we need to make sure that we put a clear sign on the garage door warning pets are created in the garage whatever that you need to do to make the home more accessible to the prospective buyers also you want to really try to declutter the house and make it as 
presentable as possible. I hope these are the four mistakes that you can avoid if you're putting your home on the market. Talk to your trusted local real estate agent who's going to be providing services to you to represent you as a seller. Good luck selling and happy selling. Spring is here. Thanks for watching.